it took me a long time to to um, break into publishing. Even though I wanted to do children's books, I left um, the school I went to, which is Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. I had majored in illustration. I left with a portfolio that was, you know, I was able to get work with this portfolio in all kinds of places. I was working in um, advertising, educational publishing, toys and games, magazines. Um, but I just could not break into publishing for about 12 years after I graduated. It took a long, long time. And so I take my portfolio and um, people would say, well, it looks, you know, it's kind of commercial, like you should go to advertising agencies. And then I'd go to an advertising agency and they'd say, this is a children's book portfolio. You should, you know, go to a children's publisher. And it was, so I was in this weird in-between place. And, um, and I kept sending my work out, getting rejected. And, that went on for about 12 years and finally my first book was published and I thought okay my foot's in the door from here on out it's and then it took five years between that that first book and the second book and that was the hardest period of time so I thought you know why is this taking so long but in retrospect it was um, I didn't I didn't have I wasn't telling stories with my pictures. I was doing something else with illustration. And in other areas of illustration, that's appropriate. You know, if you're doing advertising, you might have to communicate a message that somebody else has with your pictures. In educational publishing, it's teaching something with your illustrations. And um, toys and games, it might be a decorative thing that you're trying to do. But with children's books, it's storytelling. And I didn't have that component really developed. And so I teach now at Art Center. And I'm trying to shorten that experience so that my students don't take 15 years, you know, but maybe 14 weeks to kind of get that message across.